Ben here at Departure Headquarters doing another review on um, something different this week. We're going to do some grinders coming out of Romania. It's called the Dip brand. And what I have here are two Dip DK68s. So uh, Dip was uh, founded in Romania in 1991 uh, and Dip was introduced in 2005. So they have a range of deli grinders. They've got a DK65 pitch for home. They've got the DK65s for cafes and these are the DK68s. The reason they're DK68s, 68 mil flat burrs and a 680 watt motor. So what we're going to do is we're going to get you in close and we're going to have a look at the functions and features and we're going to put the shots on and see how we go. So what we've got guys here is a 1.3 kilo hopper. All right, so I've got one grinder on and this one's not on because I want to have a look inside. Um, again, 68 mil flat burrs and a nice little lockable adjustment here. So step less, so that means there's no little increment every time I make an adjustment, but that comes off quite easily for cleaning. So they're flat burrs, but the thing that impresses me the most about these machines is their quietness and their speed. So there's a little shock absorber in here that makes this move and really dulls the noise of its grinding. Um, and you'll see later when I um, actually grind some coffee through it, you'll see how quiet it actually is. But very easy to use, very easy to clean, um, and very easy to adjust. Um, so we're gonna come on this way and we're gonna show you a couple other key features. So one of the things you get with the grinder is an Allen key. So the Allen key makes the ladle adjustable. So I've got it adjusted for this LM handle that sits nice in like that, nice and tight. So I'm able to press the grind and I can walk away. You know, I can stay in collapse if I like, but that's a nice little feature as well. Um, so again, they have a cooling fan on the back. So what that does is that stops any retention of feed. So that will affect flavor profile um, if it is too hot. So this is good for any environment. So you know, you can work in 40 degree temperatures and, and this will grind still quite coolly and it will one affect your flavor profile. Um, so I like that feature. Again, a 680 watt motor, so it's super fast. Um, easy to program. Uh, basically, I'm holding down a single cup icon, 2.5 seconds. The double cup icon gives me 5.3 seconds. And I've also got a dosing counter there, so 312 shots that's done, which is also a very good feature. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to grind some coffee. So again, guys, we've got the single cup icon, 2.5 seconds. I've got the double cup icon, set up to about 23, 24 grams at 5.3 seconds. So I'm going to see how consistent this dose is. I've worked in a lot of cafes, I've used a lot of Mazda Robers and whatnot, and uh, consistency is very important. So we're going to do three or four shots, I'm going to see how consistent the dose is. So let's go first, I'm going to tar this dosing cup, and we're going to grind out about 23, 24 grams. So you can see that's super fast, so it's 5.3 seconds. So that's 24.1 grams in the first one. Let's do the next one. The first one was 24.1. And the second one was 23.7, so 24 of a gram. That's not too bad. I'll do one more for luck. Too much coffee for this bastard. But 
quite easily to increase the volume or the time of grind. It's as simple as pressing the plus, decreasing is pressing the minus. It's so easy to use. So I want to compare the DK68 to something similar. And what I have here is a Mazda Major V. So Mazda Major V, very, very similar to the cafes and medium to most coffee houses. Um, and it's very similar in the way they look at the Version. And then there's the Delirax, so there's a DK30, DK40, 